All right, Storm Team 4 now with Marissa Wallace in. Marissa, a lot of people probably glad they were in the clear, at least for the morning parade festivities, but rain still on the way. Right? Yeah, we are still tracking the showers and thunderstorms. They are still on the way, but thankfully we've made it through at least the first half of the day now with some dry weather, some great weather for some parades. So definitely feeling very summer like very humid across the area. Despite having a lot of clouds in place, temperatures have warmed up as well. We're at 85 degrees right now in Milwaukee. It's the southerly winds that are pulling in the heat and humidity, all helping create an environment that could support some severe storms as we get later into this evening. You see our temperatures across the area, a spread of anywhere from the mid 80s to the upper 70s, some cooler temperatures farther off to the back, but this is where the rain has moved in. As you head closer to the lake, we do have 86 right now in Kenosha. We're seeing 80 at this moment. Sheboygan, even up to 85 degrees. That's nice, 84 in Fond du Lac. Dew points at this hour, close to 70 degrees. So it is kind of hot and humid, but we do have showers and thunderstorms out just to our west. This initial line is going to continue to weaken and initial Initially, we are not expecting any severe weather. We will see numerous lightning strikes, some heavy downpours from time to time, maybe a few gusts, nothing severe, but it's what's going to redevelop behind that initial line that we are more concerned about because behind all this, even warmer air is coming in, creating a more unstable environment that could support some storms that could be severe as we get later into today. So let's time this out here in your future forecast. We'll start it off at the noon hour. As we move into the afternoon, we'll start to see showers arrive. For those of you that do live in some of our western counties expect showers anytime between about one and two o'clock to begin. And then if you live all the way towards the lake, it'll be close to about three or four o'clock for that initial band to move on through. We'll get that moving through. And then if you notice here, this is the her guidance model. It's kind of showing more of these areas with darker reds and even some of the purples here. This is what we are indicating the chance for some severe weather. This is at about six o'clock or so. If we do get some of these stronger storms to develop, we could be looking at some hail, some strong winds up to 60 miles per hour, as well as the potential for an isolated tornado or two. But again, this is just as long as everything comes together with a redevelopment behind that initial line. As you get closer to 930, close to the start time of a lot of fireworks shows that may still be going on later, we are still going to have showers and thunderstorms in the area. So be prepared for your plans to potentially change. Eventually, everything moves out as we get closer to the midnight hour here through southeast Wisconsin. Now we are looking at a threat for some severe storms. We are two out of five here on the scale, so keep in mind we are looking at the potential for that as we get later into today. As we take a look at what's going to happen again, everything kind of deteriorating. Showers and thunderstorms pushing in, though cooler air comes in. Temperatures drop into the upper 70s, but we're not going to drop too far, even by 8 o'clock, still in the upper 70s. Firework planner, if we're still looking at fireworks, well, we'll still have some thunderstorms through the area, so be prepared. If we do have flashes of lightning out in the distance, you need to seek shelter. A tent is not shelter. You need to be in a car or better yet, a building. As you take a look at your seven day forecast, we stay in this unsettled pattern. We do have more showers and thunderstorms expected late on Tuesday and then same thing on Wednesday. So upper 80s on Tuesday, still keeping the warmth in place. After that, temperatures will hold close to about 80 degrees. So I am again watching the more chances for showers and thunderstorms, including this initial band. I'll have more coming up in just a bit. I know you had a lot of pressure today. Melissa. I know, and I get it. Was it on. It's, it's really hard. It's hard <laughs> because it's a holiday. That's just what makes it that much worse. I know a lot of outdoor plans, but the best thing is, is I can give you the information. It's up to you to prepare how you would want for that. Exactly, and mm -hmm. it's never your fault. No, you just no. keep us prepared. I can't control the weather. No, no, no. <laughs> Thanks, Marissa.